Ovarian cysts are a very common female condition. An ovarian cyst is a fluid-filled sac on an ovary in the female reproductive system. Most women have ovarian cysts sometime during their lives. Fortunately, most ovarian cysts are benign and do not need any special treatment. This patient education program will help you understand ovarian cysts and how they may be diagnosed and treated. Anatomy The female reproductive organs include the vagina, the uterus, the fallopian tubes, the ovaries. The female reproductive organs are located in the pelvis between the urinary bladder and the rectum. The ovaries have two main functions. One, the production of specialized hormones such as estrogen and progesterone. Two, ovulation, which is the release of eggs that are needed for reproduction. The hormones produced by the ovaries are very important in keeping ovulation regular. These hormones also prepare the inner lining of the uterus to proceed with a pregnancy. Before the egg is released, a small cyst forms on the ovary. A cyst is a fluid-filled area. When the egg is released, it goes down to the uterus through the fallopian tube, where it may be fertilized. The cyst on the ovary usually disappears at that time. If the egg is not fertilized, the egg and the inner lining of the uterus are discharged to the outside of the body during the menstrual period. This cycle repeats itself every 28 days while the ovaries are still active. The uterus is pear-shaped. It is about three inches long and it has three layers. The inner layer of the uterus is called the endometrium. Causes An ovarian cyst is a fluid-filled tissue sac that appears on the ovary. The sac can be within or on the surface of the ovary. Some cysts fail to release the egg and can grow up to one or two inches. These cysts are called follicular cysts. They usually disappear in two to three menstrual cycles. Some cysts are called corpus luteum cysts. These occur after the egg has been released. They can grow up to four inches in size. They also usually disappear within a few weeks. Other ovarian cysts are due to benign tumors. A benign tumor is a tumor that does not invade other tissues and is not cancerous. These include dermoid cysts, endometriomas, cystadenomas, polycystic ovaries. Dermoid cysts. The cells in the ovary are able to make hair, teeth, and other growing tissues that become part of a forming ovarian cyst. These cysts can become large and cause pain. Endometriomas. These cysts develop in women who have endometriosis when tissue from the lining of the uterus grows outside of the uterus. The tissue may attach to the ovary and form a growth. These cysts can be painful during sexual intercourse and during menstruation. Cystadenomas. These cysts develop from cells on the outer surface of the ovary. They are often filled with a watery fluid or thick, sticky gel. They can become large and cause pain. Polycystic ovaries. The eggs mature within the follicles or sacs, but the sac doesn't break open to release the egg. The cycle repeats, follicles continue to grow inside the ovary, and cysts form. In this case, increased body hair may be noticed by the patient. Some benign ovarian cysts may increase the risk of ovarian cancer. Malignant tumors, or cancer of the ovaries, can start as a cyst on the ovaries.